And as we call before Congress to testify about a planned merger between Saudi-backed Live Golf and the PGA, Natalie Brand has more on the accusations of sport washing. Without objection. Today's hearing is about much more than the game of golf. Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal came out swinging against PGA executives, grilling them over why the tour suddenly reversed course on its opposition to Live Golf moving to merge with the Saudi-backed league instead. It's a regime that has reportedly killed journalists, jailed and tortured dissidents, fostered the war in Yemen, and supported other terrorist activities, including the 9-11 attack. Blumenthal accused the Saudi government of using money and sports to try and clean up its public image. What is the amount of the Saudi investment that is going to be made? There's been discussions. It would be a significant amount. North of what one are the billion. amounts that have been discussed? North of one billion. PGA executives testify the sport faced an existential threat in its previous standoff with Liv. If it all continued, expensive legal fights, every day wondering which player was going to leave next. A fan base tired of hearing about it, sponsors nervous. Golf as we know it would be damaged forever. Some families of 9-11 victims attended the hearing. They've said they're shocked and offended by the planned merger. If any person had the remotest connection to an attack on our country and the murder of my friends, I am the last guy that would be sitting at a table with them. The PGA has committed to meeting with 9-11 families and executives say the merger is not a done deal. And Senator Blumenthal suggested the Department of Justice may move to block the merger on antitrust grounds.